What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back here at Six Flags Yes, Texas, as noted by Goliath behind me. Um, today is basically, and from the looks of the sign right now, is going to be our preview day for Mardi Gras. Uh, Mardi, the Mardi Gras festival here at Yes, Texas is coming up pretty soon. And we may be able to see some updates from the park, including a very special one that just got announced a few days ago. Um, so yeah, very excited to get back in the park. It's a little bit chilly today, uh, which is why I'm a little bit bundled up. Um, but yeah, today's going to be a good day. I'm going to try to ride some of the rides that I didn't get to ride last weekend when I was here. Uh, particularly Superman, that might be my first ride of the day. Um, from the looks of the parking lot, it doesn't look to be too particularly crowded, which is good. Uh, that means we can get on some of the rides pretty easy. I don't know. I'll get a better idea of it once we get inside the park. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get inside and have a good day. Uh, I won't be, won't be here for very long. Uh, probably be a couple of hours. Um, so yeah. All right, so we are over here in the park entrance. And as you can see, they have removed the holiday in the park sign. And they have now added the Six Flags Mardi Gras Festival. That is the next event that's coming up. Very excited to get started with this. Because like I said, there's a really, really fun attraction that's coming to uh, Mardi Gras this year. It looks really awesome. So let's go inside. Oh no, not the sign that I want to see on the way in. No Superman, no Iron Rattler. That's tough. That's tough. As we come on to Texas State Square, they have removed the, the light up presents. That's basically a, yeah, holiday in the park is pretty much over. As you know, we saw with the sign and not a lot of stuff going on. So kind of sucks. I kind of like these light up presents. I know the little wreath that was right here. Look, there goes Boomerang. Ask me if I'm going to ride it today. Ask me if I'm going to ride it. Have you asked yet? The answer is, hell no. Over here by the Whitewater Bay gift shop, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck are doing a meet and greet up here. Oh, it looks like you can actually stand with them now. You don't have to, like, they don't stand at a distance. That's pretty cool. They don't have their holiday gear on anymore. It's just normal. That's awesome. The best thing about Holiday Point the Park ending is they finally removed the ugly lights on top of Iron Rattler's lift hill. They were so crooked it wasn't even funny. Alright, so at the moment, uh, Iron Rattler is not open. It, it, they are testing it though, and um, Ethan's out in front of it. He gave me the info. Poltergeist is, not, is testing right now. Superman is up and running, so I might go ahead and go there real quick and do it. But something that I forgot about today, because... I was so focused about getting Mardi Gras updates. You guys can hear the music in the background. It's weekend two of previews for Daredevil Dive. I totally forgot about it. Oh, my glasses are fucking up. Oh, my God. And look, you can see we're coming up on the, egg, on the uh, Daredevil Dive place. And yes, there are people on it. So uh, let's see what the line's looking like. All right, so while Daredevil Dive does have a short line, um, well, I mean, obviously, because it's just Diamond and Diamond Elite previews. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and ride it right now. I might ride it a little bit later. I might ride it a couple times later. Um, but yeah, I, I, I want to go to try to go do Superman real quick because I haven't ridden it in a while. Because um, every time I've tried to be on it, it's either down or it has a really long line. So let's go do Superman and then we're going to get updates if the new attraction. I'm not going to tell you it yet until we get over to where it is. But, um, but yeah. Let's go to Superman. All right, so Superman is still uh, closed for now. They just sent a train up. There, there it goes, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, they just sent a train up, so um, let's go get some updates on the Mario Gauss attractions. Right over here. Over here by Bugs Whitewater Rapids, they have a couple of uh, Mardi Gras booths up for food and stuff. That's awesome. That's so cool. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so I'm not sure where the entrance is exactly. I asked a, um, a uh, contact about it. Uh, but Six Flags Fiesta Texas has announced for Mardi Gras this year that they have a brand new haunted attraction called, um, I think it's called the Hoongin, Hoongin? I don't know how to pronounce it. The, the Hoongin House of Voodoo. 
which is a haunted house attraction during Mardi Gras. Isn't that something? Yeah, it's kind of interesting that they're doing a haunted house now. I know they couldn't do it during uh, Halifax because of COVID, but it looks like they found out how to do a haunted house safely and with like all the social distancing guidelines and crap. So very interesting. Um, I'm actually kind of excited to see it when it first comes up. You guys already know that I will be here on opening day when it opens up. Opening day of Mardi Gras. And I thought I dropped something for a second. Um, you guys already know I will be here on the day it opens. And uh, when, and I'll get you guys, if, if I can film inside of it, that's great. If not, then um, I'll give you guys a review of it. But yeah, super excited to see it. Um, yeah, let's do it. It's pretty great. Over here by the entrance to the Hustler, they have a few more Mardi Gras festival um, little stations for um, for all like the food that's gonna be here. Um, I'll put a link in the description to like their whole like menu and stuff. But uh, but yeah. And, if you, and for those of you guys that are wondering, if you guys are wanting someone who's gonna do a big food review, I'm not really too big on trying two different foods, so. If you want to go uh, see someone who does that, go find someone else to watch because I'm not going to do that in my videos. Mine's just about coasters and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm not really doing any food reviews like that. So, yeah. Just remembered something else that I forgot to tell you guys about House of Voodoo. Um, you have to... There ha you have, there, oh, my God. I can't talk. Um, you have to make a reservation to be able to get inside the house, inside the attraction. Um... But if you have a Diamond or Diamond Elite Pass, like I do, or a Platinum Pass, like I believe it's a Diamond, then you don't have to get uh, a, pr a prior reservation um, for the attraction. You can just walk up and just get right in, in line for it. So I think that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they did that because, yeah, I want to be able to do it every time I come here. I don't want to have to like wait in stupid lines. And so, yeah, uh, we're over here at the boardwalk. And I am going to go ride Pirates because well, it's now one of my new favorite rides here and I'm getting good at it. So hopefully I don't get a bad cart. So let's do it. All right. So 1650, not bad. Um, I don't know why I get the same like the past couple times I've been here. I've gotten the same car every single time. The one that has the ones that have the really, really short blasters. Like, oh my God. I, um, there's one, the one that I said in that has a really short one on the left and like a slightly decently long one on the right. I saw it on the right, I got a 1650. So I'm not too mad about that, but it's nowhere near the, what was it? The 2100 something that I got a couple weeks ago. So eh, I'm not too mad about it. So we are over here at Poltergeist. Uh, it's currently not running right now because of uh, the weather. But uh, I wanted to go ahead and make a little note about it. So on the TTS Facebook page, the Texas Thrill Seekers, you guys know, um, that's the event that I went to out on December 5th where I met Tyler and Dominic and a bunch of other enthusiasts there. Um, Jeffrey Siebert, the park president here at Fiesta Texas, is um, on a part of that Texas Thrill Seekers group. And lately he's been posting like a lot of pictures, um, some of them as teasers for the House of Voodoo attraction, but some of them we are thinking, um, there, there's one picture, I'll see if I can find a way to show it on screen right here. Um, but we have, there's thing, it's, it looks like the front gates to Poltergeist. So a lot of us in the community and on Taxi Thrill Seekers, we're trying to predict like what's gonna, like something's gonna happen to Poltergeist. It, it clearly is the Poltergeist gate, that's a no brainer. Um, but some possible things that have been brought up are a retheme, uh, maybe a repaint because it desperately needs a new paint job. Um, <clears throat> there's talk about putting it all indoors, like Flight of Fear, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's a lot. That's a lot of work. Um, and then I don't think this is gonna happen. But something that I brought up uh, was a possible retheme to like a DC character, like the Flash or like Green Lantern or someone. I don't know if that's gonna happen because Poltergeist is kind of far from like the. The group of DC rides over back in Strasbourg, like with Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman and Joker and all them. But, um, but yeah, those are just some suggestions on what people are thinking about for what may happen to Poltergeist in the future. 
And like I said, none of this is confirmed. It's just like rumors and stuff that's been floating around. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated if anything happens to Poltergeist. Um, but yeah. So we are over here by where, where the singing saps were during Holiday in the Park. But right over here is where a lot of us are suspecting that the uh, home game house of Voodoo is going to be. Um, this actually was an area that was used for um, Fright Fest back in 2019 for a haunted house. Um, I don't remember the name of the house off the top of my head. I'll put a note up on screen if uh, when I rem when I remember it. Um, but yeah, this is where we think the um, the house of Voodoo is going to be. Um, very exciting, very exciting. I don't remember the exact date of when Mardi Gras starts. I will also put that on screen when I when I um, get word of it. But yeah. Very excited for it. Good news, everybody. Iron Rattler is back open. Yay, so we get to ride it. Awesome, super excited. I'm currently heading to Daredevil Dive because I got some food. Went to Cactus Jacks and got some food. Um, the curly fries. Ah. So we're gonna go sit over by Daredevil Dive and watch people ride it. Let's do it. Got the curly fries and the chicken. We got a nice little view of Daredevil Dive. Unfortunately, I think I think they're just testing it right now. They're, it's down, I think it's down or... Maybe they're doing something. I don't know what they're doing. Guys, I just noticed this little booth right here. There's Daredevil Dive merchandise. Yay! Oh my god, I want to see what they have. Okay, so basically my plan for the next couple of hours, uh, I'm probably going to leave here around like 2 or 3. It's around like quarter to 1 right now. Um, I do want to try to ride both Superman and Iron Rattler today. May or may not use a flash pass on Iron Rattler's line's kind of long. Um, oh, I'm so Superman's. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use flash passes on them. Go do both of those. Maybe do another do another lap on Pirates, and then I'll take a few spins on Daredevil Dive, and then take off. So that's gonna be my my plan for the day. Um, I did also take a look at the Daredevil Dive merchandise. Um, the only, the only thing at that cart that I thought was good was the, the Daredevil Dive, um, lanyard, which I don't want to buy right now because I literally just got this diamond member, uh, lanyard, one of the last times I was here. Um, yeah, I'm hoping they, they bring out like a shirt or of some kind because I really want to want to get like a Daredevil Dive shirt. Um. But yeah, the only shirts they have are like Six Flags, and they have like they have a hoodie, but it's also Six Flags too. And they have, it's funny, they have like a little hat, like one like a steampunk hat, which I don't know why anyone in their mind, in their right mind, would wear one of those to a park. But um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my flash passes and let's go. Time for lap number two on Pirates. Let's do it. All right, so I just got off of Pirates. I got a 17.10. I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna go on one more time. Hopefully I don't get a really terrible gun. So I had a pretty decent gun that one time. So here we go, let's do it again. All right, so I actually did slightly better than I did last time. I got a 17.10. This time I got 17.85. It's like, dude, I max out and get 2,000. Literally twice in a row and now I can't do it again. I don't know why. It's weird. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna, I think my food's pretty much settled, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my Superman ride, my Iron Rattler ride, and then just go do Daredevil Dive until like two o'clock. So let's do it. And now I ask the question, is the Joker line at the entrance? The answer is, when is it never outside the entrance? <laughs> yeah, so we're definitely not doing Joker today. <laughs> or ever after that traumatic 30 degree weather ride, but yeah. He's outside the entrance right now, so yeah, great. All right, we're next on Superman. It's been a while since I've been on it. So here we go. All right, there we go. Just got off of Superman. Always fun. I sat in the back row, uh, one of the best rows to sit on Superman. Um, it's nice to get back on it after a couple of weeks of not riding it. Um, you know. Lines have been pretty long for some reason because Superman almost never has a line. Uh, it's got a pretty decent line right now, not too bad. Um, but uh, 
yeah, it's also been having a lot of issues, like downtime. So that's part of the reason why I wasn't going on it, which kind of sucks because Superman is still one of my favorite rides here. Um, I'm still torn whether or not I like it better than Wonder Woman. I've been kind of torn on that for about the past couple months, but yeah, I've been getting some pretty good rides on Wonder Woman lately, so yeah. Um, so now let's go ahead and use our, our other flash pass on Iron Rattler, and then we're just gonna go see how many times I, I can I can handle riding Daredevil Dive in a row. <laughs> so let's go. Man, Iron Rattler is running a little slow today. <laughs> I just got on and it was like, it was, I mean, it was a good ride, but it's just going really slow. Um, so now I'm gonna do at least two rounds on Daredevil Dive, maybe a third if I'm feeling up for it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on. Alright guys, so we just got off of Daredevil Dive twice in a row. <laughs> uh, I was in Plane 3 and Plane 5, and surprisingly Plane 3 was not going as fast as it normally does. Um, it was actually, on my last ride, Plane 4 was going crazy. Like I was in 5, I was sitting right behind Plane 4, and the person in Plane 4 was going crazy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so... Um, that's pretty much gonna wrap up my day here. I'm gonna go get like a churro and uh, some popcorn and a drink refill real quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and head out. Um, but yeah, today was a pretty good day. Um, got a lot of Mardi Gras updates. Um, I'm sure we'll get more once Mardi Gras actually starts, and I believe it's in a couple of weeks actually. Um, three time, three rides on pirates. A ride each on Superman and um, Iron Rattler, and then we did Daredevil twice. So, pretty good day. Pretty good day. Um, I'm gonna be back here next week for next weekend for the uh, third and final weekend of Diamond of exclusive Diamond Diamond Elite previews for Daredevil Dive, and then after that it's gonna be open up to Platinum, Gold, and then eventually uh, Season Pass holders. And then February 27th is the grand opening. So, yeah, very excited. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button down below uh, and please give the video a like. Uh, comment down below what your favorite uh, steampunk themed ride is and I'll catch you guys next weekend. Peace out.